Continuing on BTN Live, Dave Refs and Chuck Long and Howard Griffith. It's, of course, Michigan, Michigan State Week. And who better to analyze this game for us than Hall of Fame coach from the Wolverines, Lloyd Carr, who joins us now from our studio in Ann Arbor. Lloyd, appreciate you taking the time to do this. It feels to us sitting in this studio as if this rivalry has escalated a bit here over the last decade or so. Does it feel the same way to you? Uh, I think it's always been an extremely intense uh, rivalry. You know, we, we, um, we prepare for this game, I think, on both sides, 364 days a, a year. But um, uh, I think, you know, with uh, technology, with, with Twitter and, uh, you know, the Big Ten Network, certainly, um, you know, there's a lot more conversation that, that people can listen to and tune into. Uh, so I would agree with you, um, Dave. I think I think it is uh, it has grown in intensity. Hello, Coach. In studying this game, what do you think it's going to take for Michigan to win this football game? You know what I know is that Michigan State uh, is coming in here with going to be uh, playing Saturday with a great defense. I think offensively, we have proven uh, you know recently that we we can make some big plays and that uh, we have some big playmakers uh, on our team. So I think the matchup, uh, you know, it, all, it always comes down to some regard to turnovers, uh, which we all know. But I think, um, you know, our defense, uh, what, what I think we're all hoping is that our defense really um, uh, stops the running game and, and forces them into a passing game. And probably, uh, you know, they're going to they're gonna look at uh, stopping Devin Gardner. I think uh, Devin has uh, made a lot of big plays. He is an extremely durable uh, guy, tough guy. And um, I think they're going to try to uh, put a lot of pressure on him. Coach, what does this rivalry mean to the state as far as recruiting is concerned? You know, I think, Howard, that's a great question. I think, you know, at times, um, you know, there's, there's a, a time when I felt like it was a big issue. But I, but I do think uh, when it comes time to choosing a school, um, you know, that's not uh, the, what the majority of kids are doing. I think they can be influenced. I think if they're, uh, you know, the game this week up in East Lansing, they'll have a lot of recruits on the sideline and, uh, pre-game and they'll get a feel for it and uh, uh, you know and and that crowd will be uh, uh, they will be a raucous group and you know those things you can get caught up in but um, uh, you know I, I think with some guys it, it can be a factor but I think most guys uh, they look deeper uh, into what the school has to offer what the football program has to offer. Head coach of the 1997 National Champions, Lloyd Carr with us here on BTN Live. Dave Revson, Howard Griffith, and Chuck Long. Coach, there could be a lot of distractions that surround a game like this. How did you handle that as a head coach, distractions in a game and season? For a coach, and in any game, but particularly in the rivalry games, um, you're always afraid that guys are going to say things that are going to uh, – give the, the incite the other team, if you will. <laughs> and uh, so I was always uh, very concerned about that. I tried to say, look, let's send a message that, number one, we respect the rivalry, we respect our opponents, and, um, you know, we're, we're going to concentrate on the things that uh, we have to do to win. Coach, you've been away from the game for a little bit now. How has the game changed in your mind from where it was when you were walking the sidelines? Um, I think what has changed dramatically, uh, and I think this is uh, what's happening in high school football, is that people are putting, um, you know, across this country, I think they're best athletes at quarterback. Uh, and, you know, amazingly enough, I think it's, you know, the, that has uh, – filtered up to the NFL. If you look at the NFL, there's a lot of guys that uh, 10 years ago nobody would have dreamt uh, would be the, the style of quarterback that could compete and be successful. And certainly that's changed. And, uh, you know, I think that's the difference.
Brady Hoke was on your staff for a number of years. Uh, now, you know, back obviously as Michigan's head coach. What's your level of involvement with him and with the Michigan program? You know, uh, Dave, what I've uh, tried to do is, is um, uh, stay away uh, because this is Brady's team. I had a great time. I loved every single minute of it. It was the uh, greatest time, uh, you know, of, of my career. But uh, now it's Brady's time. And um, so we have a great relationship. I, I love him to death. And um, I think he was, uh, you know, Dave Brandon made a great choice, and I think we're uh, on our way. Coach, what are you doing now? Do you have a hobby? I've got a, you know, you guys probably didn't, uh, uh, I don't hear this news broken on the Big Ten Network, but I took a coaching job uh, last fall. Uh, my eight-year-old grandson, I'm coaching uh, the defense on his flag football team. <laughs> oh, there you go. Lloyd Carr, longtime coach of the Michigan Wolverines, kind enough to take some time to talk to us. Thank you very much, Coach. Great to talk to you as always. Great to be with you, and thanks for all that uh, you guys do for college football and especially Big Ten football. Thank you.